very much. Thank you very much. Um, we've had a huge list of people we have got to be a bit of We've had our government to be less stupid. But, um, <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's a good start. Pascal, what, what do you think is the most important thing? It's very difficult uh, when either you are Burmese or uh, someone who support the Burmese cause to be. Uh, unemotional and, um, and also sentimental about the country. And as far as I know, including quite a lot of Burmese exile communities, they tend to be, um, their emotional um, scale tends to go up and down quite quickly. And uh, when I'm thinking back 20 years ago, uh, in 1988, when we started to take part in the, uh, the protest, the idea was just basic freedom. There was no sanction. There was no uh, boycotting. All we wanted was to live decently. And I think 20 years later, I think the same, because uh, Burma is betrayed by the international community. But when they don't want to admit that, because the reason is Burma has no threat to the international community has no, they are, even including the uh, shadow minister himself, he was saying they have to talk to the Chinese, as if Burma is the Chinese Republic of Burma. So that is very sad for me, and I find it quite, sometimes quite angry, to be honest. But having said that, having seen quite a lot of things going on in 20 years, I think that Burma doesn't need, or Burma won't be able to solve its problem. Uh, in terms of by just arguing against sanction or pro-sanction. It's much more to do with what can you do? What will you do? And I think the, what, that election, so-called that uh, mooted election 2010 is an embarrassment for all because the failure is kind of trying to cover the failure of the 20 years and everyone pushing you to take part in it. And I have no, uh, uh, I don't think, I definitely believe that the 2010 election will solve anything or improve Burmese life. But what I do think is Burma will change. And, and I have a feeling that that election could also trigger something that the junta doesn't want. So it, it might be in some way but impossible to say. But one thing I can definitely say at the moment is the election is likely to be the time when if they go to a whole election next year, 2010, it's going to be around the World Cup where the cameras point on the other side. Like they did with the, uh, the, the Constitution. They deliberately use those kind of opportunities to bundle everything because the army and also quite a lot of their supporters have no confidence. And I think it's to do with our uh, historical uh, lack of confidence in our self. I don't mean the Burmans only, the, including the ethnic and everyone, because it is a country that uh, has been uh, created from the uh, uh, boundaries where people are squeezed out. And also, it's also to do with the they're connected to many countries, mostly powerful countries. And that's what the, the Burmese proverbs say is eating like a crow behavior. We still have that. Ji Lan Sazare, we say that. And that is very hard to get it on. And not, if you look even under uh, Unu's government in the 50s, there was always the element of uh, creating an enemy for yourself so that you can become a leader. So the, the Junta is still <coughs> using that idea of the West as their, lead, their enemy. That's why they're building tunnels. They are trying to get technological advancement from North Korea about nuclear or nuclear. And I know that they know that uh, they, the West won't come and attack them because there's no oil enough for the West to come and attack directly. The West is likely to use China and India to get oil from them. So this is a kind of uh, 
masquerade going on. But on the other hand, the, the encouraging thing over the, the 20 years, the past 20 years, is what Martin was saying about what they've been doing to ed educate people, allowing them to do that, uh, to get more, and to for the country. And I'm sure, I think 90%, say the least, including myself, will go back to Burma, help the country. The only, pro uh, the only problem is the countries that can support us won't support us the things they should be supporting. They're just talking about sanctions, they're talking about this and that. And there's no, if you look on the ground, for example, like uh, help given to um, uh, Nagis, Saiton Nagis. We now know the report said that 60% of the help are, are monitored. So sometimes what they do is if the money is small enough, they just chuck the money and go away. That's what we feel. And, but I don't think that is, it is a kind of despairing situation. I don't feel that either. I feel that if you really um, want to help, or if you are in a position to help, please help us uh, uh, in a way that give us the dignity. Don't make us. And it's quite a lot of people, but these people, they are artists, they are, as Derek was saying, many people are just doing the business. But quite a lot of things, but these people feel that they've been trodden on before giving the money. So, and lastly, I think, too many things have been said about what should be done on Burma and obviously what we've done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very But we know that uh, it is only for the um, to propagate military dictatorship more because they have to accumulate their own problems to make it.